On this episode, we realized we needed to make a pivot. What's up guys, my name is Alex Caves and we are in a spot to where we need a major pivot. A pivot is very familiar to us designers, uh, enough to where we consider it as part of the process. A pivot happens when we're doing something and we cannot progress further in the direction that we want, so we need to switch it up and uh, go in a different direction. It's essentially a nice way of saying a failure. <laughs> and this week was one of those situations with the wireless audio that we got and the realization that the camera that I'm using right now is not very good. <laughs> so starting off this week, I heard back from Noichi saying that the wireless had tons of white noise, which took some post-editing to make it decent, which was uh, an extra time that we did not want. We wanted a good quality with minimal post-edit to save for time, which wasn't the case. And that news really stressed me out and made me restless the remainder of the week, which forced me to deep dive into Google and YouTube to see what the pros use, what the best audio camera accessories were, how to adjust the settings on the camera to get the best quality, and how much I should expect to pay for great results. So what I discovered this week was that if we want to produce cinematic build videos, hyper slow motion, low light capabilities, uh, and great talking head segments like this, we need to step it up. It's not going to be cheap, but it's an investment I am willing to make into this company, into my team, and into myself. If we want to be a contender in this game, we need to stop playing around and take this very seriously. So right now we are easily in the low end level. Uh, and for our next steps, we need to level up to mid to high level pro server level. So in that bracket, a camera would cost two to four K audio close to 1000 for both uh, boom mic and wireless accessories, two to three K easy. Um, and if you have any suggestions and recommendations on camera, audio, and accessories, please let us know. We're collecting as much feedback as we can so that we can make an educated decision. Here are some of the best channels I found most helpful. Peter McKinnon and his channel, he has tons of stuff related to filmmaking, video editing, very talented individual, super informative with camera tricks, Premiere Pro, and everything in between. Caleb Pike and his DSLR video shooter channel, very detailed comparisons of cameras and audio equipment, very informative and thorough. Also, Parker Walbeck and his full-time filmmaker videos, especially the episode on how to shoot an interview. Uh, uh, that one alone was very informative in the equipment and the setup. The links to their channel will be posted in the box below. Super helpful. Please check them out and send them your love. If you guys feel inclined to support me in this new investment, I do have a Patreon page, patreon.com slash studio caves. Um, you can donate from $1 to as much as you want, but I am not forcing you. Only if you see potential in what I'm doing and what my vision is, uh, and you want to support me from the get-go, oh, that'd be incredible. And that would save me from having to uh, go into debt or too much debt. Cause uh, yeah, that would be a huge help and a huge shout out to you for doing so, if you do so. <laughs> in other news, back to my schedule, it is going incredible. And uh, here's a look into what a typical day looks like. So guys, it's 9 a.m. I am at my place of work. I'm starting my day off right now. It is now 2.30ish, just finished up the day job and uh, now I'm free to do studio caves and whatever else I need to do during the day. Next block starts now. So 
first on the agenda is to help my dad out put this tailgate on his truck so that he could sell it or so that uh, my sister can use it. And then I'll probably hit Starbucks, do some computer work and go from there. So this is the new tailgate that we got. Opening for a hitch, the fifth wheel hitch. Just gonna try to sell it, but uh, just gotta adjust these latches. So just gotta adjust that and I'll be done. up with my dad's place, got his truck going, I think I'm uh, gonna stop by Starbucks, hang out there for a bit. All right, we got a good hour and a half in, but I just got news that my inheritance just arrived. So I am gonna pick that up for my dad and I've been looking at this one 4K Sony camera that I might uh, get, test it out. So on to the next, today's been very eventful. <laughs> I got the check. It is a good amount. Not crazy, but enough. Pay some bills and invest in back into my company. So, gonna race to the the bank. It's it's 5:30 right now, so I'm gonna put that in there and then head off to Best Buy. So, decided not to buy one just yet. <laughs> um, yeah, gotta do a little more research. And uh, yeah, we'll have a new camera soon. It's not quite yet. Anyway, it is about 6.30, so I'm off to my job. Back to III to finish out my eight hours till about 9 p.m. All right, I'm back for more. See you at nine. Oh, that is it. It is about 9 p.m. I am now headed over to the climbing gym. Yay! Finish out with an exercise. This place cool or what? I 
right, guys, that is it for today. It is 10 p.m. That concludes uh, this uh, day in the life of this new schedule. I'm going home now and just relax. So have a good one, guys. Well, that's it for me, guys. Like I said, I'll be making an upgrade in our equipment very soon. If you'd like to share your knowledge, I'd very much appreciate it. And if you want an exclusive look into the day-to-day, -day, similar to that day in the life video, I'm going to be doing Instagram stories during my block of two to six. So uh, if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing behind the scenes, please follow me on Instagram at Studio Caves. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.